Welcome back to Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today I'm going to blow your mind. All right, <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. I'm super excited to release this into my group because no one's talking about it. I don't see anybody doing this. It's kind of a fun thing that I figured out, and it's a really creative way to get images onto your tumblers without just sticking the image on. Um, and Mod Podge get down. Okay, so there's two, there's multiple different ways to do it. I'm going to show you it on a couple different surfaces and it, done with a couple different ways. So one of them you need this Liquitex, Liquitex Gloss Gel Medium. Um, this is going to be really, really important. It's the best one you can use um, to do this process. Um, I will put links to all the supplies, you guys, as always, under the descri description box of this tutorial. Um, so this will be listed there, so it's easy for you guys to shop for it. Then you also would like some packing tape, some clear packing tape. And you need images that have been printed out on a laser printer, and that's very important. This does not work with an inkjet. It only works with laser printer. So you also need some paintbrushes, some scissors, and then some items to stick your things on. So as you can see, I still have a couple pictures already cut out. Um, I did left this one halfway done because I want to show you. I just printed these out on regular paper. Um, I don't have a laser printer, so I went down to my local um, postal annex and they printed them out for me really cheaply. Um, and I got a couple copies of each just in case I messed something up. <laughs> just in case. Um, but so you want to cut out the image from your paper just like that. All right. So this one, because it's large, I'm going to put it on a big piece of wood. But we're not going to start with that one. We are going to start with our cup. Because um, this is the main one we're talking about. So we're going to do the wood one next. I'm going to move these off to the side, and we'll do this, the tape paper one as well. But we're just going to do these in order. So what you want to do is you want to cut out your image first. Then you want to take your gloss gel medium. It's very simple, you guys. So easy. It's going to blow your mind. You're going to put it on your paintbrush. I brush them on the top of the surface. Get it down there. Then I take some more and I just brush it on the top of the image just to make sure you get a good coating. And this is really important. Just write down on the paper. And this is regular paper, guys, just printer paper. This is nothing fancy or expensive. It's just laser print ink, which is the waterproof ink, on top of printer paper and I'm using this gloss gel medium on top of it, okay? So then as I got that pretty well coated, I'm just gonna stick it right down. So you wanna put it on the cup where you want it on the cup. I'm just doing this right in the middle for example sake, so you guys can really see what I'm working on. And then take a squeegee. Um, I'm using just a silicone makeup brush, but you can use a credit card or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just something to push the air bubbles out and to make sure that image has a really good seal because you want it all the way flat against the surface. If it's not flat against the surface, wherever it's bulging up, um, it won't take the image. It won't take the image. All right. So we're just going to leave that, and we're going to let that one dry. I'm going to move that off to the side. There we go. Then I'm going to bring in my wood. So I'm showing you guys that you can do this on different surfaces. It doesn't matter. You can do this straight onto the pay paint, the spray paint. You can do this onto the epoxy, however you wish. All right. So now I'm going to take the image of the butterfly and I'm gonna cut out what I don't need. I'm not trying to do this one perfect, guys. I'm not too worried about it. This is just so I can show you an example of what it does, and it's really, really cool. Um, these little wood things, if you want to buy these, these are at, uh, I was at Michael's last night. They were like $2 for these two, and I used a coupon. Okay, so I'm just going to paint right into these slats. I'm not too worried. Like I said, this is just for an example to show you guys. I'm going to do it the same thing. I'm going to use my gloss gel medium. I'm going to paint on the image. Straight on the image. Doesn't matter if you get it on the wood because you're going to be coating the wood anyway. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get it on the back of the image, guys, because you don't want, you'll see for the next step what you have to do, and you don't want this gel medium blocking that image, okay? So then we're going to take the image, set it to the side, squirt our, woof, that's a lot. Probably don't need that much. I might have to wipe some of it off. So I'm just going to paint right into those slats. Again, 
not trying to be perfect on this one, just trying to show you the example. Sorry, I got just way too much on there. Came out a little fast. So we're just painting this down. Onto the wood. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. Then I'm gonna take this and lay it down on top of the wood. Same thing, we're gonna squeegee it down just to make sure there's no air bubbles. Make sure it's really well attached. Okay, and we are gonna let that one dry. All right, I'm gonna put that on my silicone mat. Move that out of the way. Okay, and we don't need to do that one. Okay, so that's how we start the one with the glass gel medium. It's super easy. I'm gonna have to wash my fur after this one. It's super easy to apply, like you saw, just a, like super, put some down on the surface that you're gonna be doing it on, and then put some down on the image that you wanna do and face it down in the way you want it. All right, I'll be right back and we'll get the other one started. Okay, so this one is a completely different idea. This one's gonna give you a vintagey look as well and you can get that image off. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take packing tape. This one is more limiting uh, because you can only do the width of your packing tape. So let's say you have a small image of your dog that passed away or uh, your kids playing in a puddle and it's a small image like this. Um, this is gonna be the perfect way to grab that image and put it on your cup without having to have these fancy products. But if you need something bigger, um, like if, to put on a cup, like the one we put on the wood, like this, you need to use the gloss gel medium because you can't layer uh, the tape and really get a good look. I tried it, it overlaps, it, you can see all the seams, it looks terrible. So if you have a small image, um, I'm gonna cut this one to size, that's why I have my scissors ready. You're just gonna take it and stick it straight to that tape and rub it down really good. You wanna make all sure all the points of contact on that paper and that image are together. But see, this one just limits you to the width of the packing tape. And most packing tape is two inches. So you're gonna get like a two inch image. Okay, that's really rubbed on there really well. So now I'm going to just cut the extra image away. There's no need to hold on to it for now. We're just gonna get rid of it. Okay. So there's that. So I'm gonna let that sit for, I'd let it sit for about 20 minutes, let it make sure it's really grabbed on there. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do the next step for that, guys. I will get it all set up and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. So I wanna show you guys how I make sure this, is, this one is set and then how to remove and make this the perfect image sticker. So I take my heat gun. You don't want to use a torch for this, guys, because you will immediately melt that plastic. You just want to take your heat gun and heat it up a little bit. And then rub some more. And just make sure that that is rubbed down really, really well. Okay, so then we're gonna take the sticker, just like you would a water slide, you're gonna put it in and you're gonna soak it. So I'm gonna let that soak and you can see the water immediately starting to absorb into that paper. I can set that off to the side. And you just wanna let that soak until you can see the paper is all wet and soaked in. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Nah, it's going quick, I don't wanna. So I want you guys to see how fast it works and how this actually does. So you're gonna do this in the water. You can start seeing that it's starting to go and you're just gonna start slowly, gently rubbing the back. You don't wanna scratch the back at all. Just rub the back under the water, keep it in the water. And you can see I'm slowly pulling that paper away. So it was that quick, guys. The water absorbs onto these guys just, just like it would onto the water slide. 
and it's pretty quick. And then just gently rub. Don't scratch, remember, that's the key, because if you scratch it, you can easily scratch that ink right off that uh, piece of sticky background. So just stay consistent, consistent in your pressure and your rubbing and just work the paper off. You can feel when it gets really slick, you know that you're, you've got the paper out of that spot because you can feel the texture of the paper. It's kind of rough. And once you get down to just having it be just the tape, you can feel that the sticker is gone. It's just becomes a very smooth surface from the tape. All right. Now I just want to show you guys this against another white cup. These are just goofy white cups I let somebody practice on. So see, so you can take that and lay it down and there's your image. It, it reacts just like a water slide. Um, if you actually let it dry, the stickiness does come back to the tape. Um, you can cut it out and just uh, clear coat spray it down and get an image. And this is just like a water slide, guys, except for it's applied with just tape. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's so cool. Um, it works the best when you have a lot of contrasting colors on it. That's why I did this really bright one with the cup where you have the white crackle with the purple background and the bright colored flowers. I really wanted this to uh, show up for you guys really, really bright. Um, so it's just that easy. So if you have an image that's less than two inches wide, this is a really, really good way to make it, if you don't have water sli slide paper um, or you just can't afford it, you can just use uh, packing tape. Uh, but again, you are limited to the width of the packing tape because I've tried to do a bigger image and just lay the packing tape perfectly, but you can in fact see the seams. I have not been able to achieve that in a way. I've achieved it, I just don't like the way it looks. So I'm sticking with these to be my two inch images for these small things. So if you just have a picture of a friend or your dog or just something cute, your kids, you can put it on a cup without water slide. I'm so excited to show you guys this. It's so fun. So keys are for this one, laser printer ink is very important. Two inches wide is your max because of the paper and any packing tape works. You don't need to seal anything in. It's just put the image on it, rub it down really good, make sure there's very, very good contact of the ink to the, to the sticker. Then heat it up with your heat gun for just a little bit, re-rub it to make sure it's really, really well contacted and then stick it in the water and let it soak for about a minute and then just gently rub that paper away. You can see all the papers left in the pot and the, the uh, ink stuck straight to that tape and is usable as a picture. All right, isn't that rad, guys? Okay, we're gonna let the other ones set. This one you can do immediately and works really fast. The other ones to do bigger images and to put them on other uh, different types of uh, materials are gonna take a little while because they've gotta dry, so I'm gonna let those dry for a while and I will come back and show you how rad those are. All right, guys, we are gonna charge into these and show you what's going on. All right, so there's two different ways you can do this. I've got them both set up to show you both ways. Um, the wood we're gonna do with a rag and the other one we're gonna do by submerging it. Sorry, I'm gonna get that a little more flat for you guys so you can see it a little better. There we go. So the cup, these are completely dry. I actually let these dry two days because I it, yesterday was Easter and so I did not get a chance to get back and do these with you guys. So with the cup, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit it in the water and kind of hold it with my arm. And the other one, you're gonna take, this rag is very wet. I didn't even wring it out. It's just, I soaked it and then brought it over here. This is just one of my shop rags. And we're gonna take this and put it right on top of that image and then do some press down, make sure it gets nice and wet. Okay, you can submerge it or put a rag on it. So whatever works for your workshop and how you can do it in your space, do it that way. So just kind of make sure this is staying wet. I've got it on towel. You can see it's starting to get all of that wet. You want to make sure the whole image gets really, really wet all the way out. Really well soaked. If you have to add water to your towel, go ahead and add water to it if you aren't getting enough. Because you can, as you can see, you're already seeing the image through that one. So I want to make sure that's really, really soaked down. So we're going to let that sit while we work on this other one. So the other one is coming along. So we just keep going. When you do this, you can start feeling the paper rub away. So I can feel the paper starting to go away. You can see there's a couple dry spots, but we'll just slowly work on those as we go. Same kind of technique as you do with the, the paper. 
just slowly rub. No scratching. Don't scratch because you'll scratch the image. And like I said, you will feel once the paper is rubbed away, it gets pretty smooth. You can feel the texture of the paper. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on high speed because this is very tedious to watch and you get the idea. And I don't want to waste your time. All right, guys, I'm not going to do the big reveal on that one until we get them all done. So you guys kind of saw me tootling along with it, getting it uh, all the paper off from the back, just slowly, gently rubbing. I did accidentally catch the corner of it with my fingernail and I made a little mark on it, but it will still work and you can't hardly even tell. Um, so this one, we are just going to keep getting it wet, getting it soaked and start doing the same kind of process. And you'll see this is this is just a piece of wood, guys, but you can put this same thing it's on your tumbler. But I just want to show you multiple different ways of doing it and that you can do big sizes. Like the, the, the other one is just, you can only do a small one for with you, when you're working with the tape, but when you're using that gloss gel medium, you can put as big of a picture as you want. So you can, in theory, wrap a whole cup with an image with that gla gloss and uh, wrap a whole cup with an image. So these this is just a really, really cool new way to add an image to your cup that doesn't cost a fortune. This is just costs one, that gel medium, I've been using this for probably, six months and I've maybe used that much in the whole bottle in six months. So it lasts forever. You don't use hardly any of it, just, just enough to get it onto the picture. So I tried this with Mod Podge guys, just to see if I could give you an example of like different products. It does not work as well. Uh, the Mod Podge does not, the image does not come out as bright. Um, it does work, so if you don't have, if you don't want to uh, buy the gloss gel medium, um, you can use Mod Podge, but it will be a very, very, very dull image. The ink doesn't transfer as well with the Mod Podge. So the gloss gel medium is definitely your number one source for getting it perfect and beautiful. So you guys see, this is just a rubbing technique. And I'm going to just wipe it off a little bit. You don't have to worry about getting it wet. You don't want to soak them for hours because you don't want to rehydrate that gloss gel medium. You want to just basically get the paper wet so it gets mushy and will pull away. So if you put it in water and just let it soak and you come back an hour later, that gloss gel medium will have gone mushy on you. And if anybody asks, I got these, I know I've already said it, but I got these at Michael's the other day for, it was $2 for the pack of two. So they're really inexpensive. So what I'm gonna do actually is go through and I'm gonna try to rub to the point where um, that paper is gonna separate in these little divots. See, there we go, there goes one. And so it still has all those holes. That's why I went ahead and let it go over because I knew I was gonna have a plan for it. It's just rubbing, 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 lots of rubbing rubbing over the holes, and I'm gonna go with my X-Acto knife and punch those out of the little holes that we rubbed away, but there's still paper. Rinse it off a little bit in my water. So you can see the dull spots on the image, that's where the paper still is. So just kind of keep rubbing the image until you get all that paper away, all that dull stuff. The image should be pretty vibrant. It does need to have a backing. So if you're putting, you can do this on like a clear glass wine glass, uh, but the image will not be as noticeable. It'd kind of be like putting a white water slide, um, a clear water slide, sorry, on top of the glass. It's gonna be very transparent and be uh, not as visible on the clear background. All right, so we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna let this one dry, and then we will do a big reveal of all three in their finished states. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back here. Are all three of them lined up to show you all how they all turned out. Uh, they're gorgeous. This is the one we did with the tape. Uh, this is the one we did with the gloss gel medium, and this is with the gloss gel medium as well. So you can tell that these are pictures that I took of the cups that I've done. Um, they've got my owl in it with my rose that I always have in my pictures. And then this is just a fun one I took when I took my girls to go see the butterflies. Um, you can see that this is gorgeous. I, I gave up trying to do this corner thing. 
that was a fail of an attempt, but it is still beautiful. And again, this is just for practice with you guys to show you that you can do it on other surfaces as well. Um, I do recommend using it. It's going to be like white water slide. I would do it on the lighter. I mean, sorry, it's going to be like clear water slide where you want to do it on the lighter colored cups because you will start to lose your image. Like you, if you put this on a navy blue cup, you're not going to see all the navy blue in this. Um, so these, this one has been clear coat sprayed. So if you put this on your cup and it doesn't look like it looks like it's still foggy, that's okay. Um, when you put epoxy on it or clear coat spray it, this one was a little foggy. Um, and then I clear coat sprayed it and it just, the colors popped right back out. So once you put this under epoxy, it's going to just be shiny and beautiful. And the colors are just going to explode just like they are here. Um, and this one, again, this one's not anything. This is just the tape stuck down to this cup. And when you put, um, epoxy over the top of this, that's just going to really, really explode off the cup. So those are th uh, two different, um, ways that you can use the gloss gel medium for one and the packing tape for the other to add actual images to your photo um to your cups without fumbling around with stickers or decals and it's really just fun technique you guys if you even if you don't uh, ultimately use this all the time it's really really fun to try it and just to, it like blows your mind even every time i do it i'm still shocked that the image is still there um so i hope you guys learned something this is the, i just use satin clear enamel enamel to spray this one it doesn't really matter just a clear coat spray paint if you want to spray paint it and seal it down um, but I hope you guys learned something. I hope you blew your mind today. Um, if you don't know about us and you've never seen us before, this is Little Lee and Rose. Subscribe to our channel. I put out videos constantly of new, cool, rad things to do. Um, let's see. Join our Facebook group. We have a super fun group. Oh my gosh, we have fun every day. We do a lot of prizes and talk about a lot of cool stuff. So anyway, you guys, I don't want to bore you. These are your examples. I hope you guys practice and do this technique. I want to see the cups that you make using this te technique. So post them in the Facebook group. And I can't wait to see what you guys make. I, I, this one, is, I'm super excited about this. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next tutorial.